Hi, today I'm going to show you a brief video of how you can integrate Beyond Trust's privileged remote access solution into your ServiceNow IT service management solution. This integration will allow you to increase the security and productivity of your organization by allowing you to launch privileged access sessions from ServiceNow records, including incidents, change management requests, and asset records, automatically append session logs, file transfer details, and links to video recordings of these sessions back into ServiceNow, and require approved change requests before a session can begin to a critical asset and use privileged credentials stored within the privileged remote access vault to perform any administrative tasks. Hopefully you're already familiar with Beyond Trust's privileged remote access solution, but just in case you're not, our solution enables you to control, manage, and audit the remote privileged access to critical assets by your vendors and employees, whether on the local network or over the internet, without a VPN. With it, you can meet audit and compliance requirements by capturing detailed session data and video recordings of all privileged sessions, discover, store, and rotate privileged credentials in the Beyond Trust Vault, and seamlessly inject them into remote sessions without your users or vendors even knowing them, and you can require real-time approval of any access requests before even allowing someone to connect. Let's take a look at both the integration and the many features of Beyond Trust's privileged remote access solution. Let's start with a story about change management. As an IT employee, have you ever come into work and immediately gotten the call that something is down? Was this your first reaction? But then you remembered that some maintenance was going to be done on that application last night? What if you could go watch a video of everything that was changed? Well, now you can. Let's go back in time and watch this process. Here we can see that our sysadmin Sheldon is looking at a change request. He's going to begin his work from here, where he opens the change request, sees that it's been approved, and will start a session to the host from within the change management system. You will see that it requires the number of the approved change request. This session won't begin without it. Checks to see that he's the appropriate technician and that the request has been approved. Here you can see we even offer up the credentials that the sysadmin should use for connecting to the server. By allowing credential injection, we remove the risk of known credentials and can rotate this credential as soon as the session's over. We'll see this later as the cause of the issue, where a newly installed update caused a problem with the application. Let's now go back to the change request and see what happened. By finding the closed change request, we can look at the data that shows the individual windows that were opened and text-based logs of the session, but more importantly, we can look at the recording. The recording is a DVR-style playback of the session as it happened. We can see each task that was performed. Here we'll play the recording, we can play it at different speeds, and can watch the session as it happened. We can see now that the culprit was a Windows update. In addition to this use case, we can start sessions from incidents and collect this data, or automatically collect this data for any asset in the CMDB. I hope in this video you've been able to see how you can increase the efficiency of your entire IT organization while meeting audit and compliance requirements. Security and productivity. That doesn't happen very often. Thanks for watching.